Oh wow, what do I see here? A new add-on for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 to download. <gasps> A triple seven, wow. Yep, hey guys, welcome back to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, which as the name suggests, came out in 2020. It's been a few months now since this flight simulator has been out, and we are really starting to see more and more add-on planes to download, just like this brand new 777 that came out yesterday. Now, let's talk if that's good today, or why some people are saying it isn't good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little spoiler alert before we begin. Yeah, I'm... Um, not that sure about this plane, okay? Let me just put it that way. Now, anyway, let's just, you know, calmly begin straight from the beginning. Now, this is Captain Sim website. You know, Captain Sim is like a, s a developer, and they have been quite a long time developer for FSX. They have brought out planes like the 757s and also a lot of triple sevens. I mean, you know, they have been around since 1999, and finally, they added something interesting yesterday to the very, very ugly website, okay? And it is this one, a 777-200ER for MSFS 2020, $30 for a download, and uh, well, I've downloaded it and installed it. Actually, I tried this plane out yesterday already in a live stream, and well, I wasn't very convinced, and so wasn't the live stream chat at all. Okay, whatever, let's just actually start off, obviously, just as a review with the good things, okay? See, I'm a, I'm a professional reviewer now, all right? So I, I downloaded this plane from the website, a very nice installing process, no worries at all. Plane just showed up in the sim, no problem, and well, we are greeted right now with really the best part of the plane, the exterior model. It's literally, I think, I think it's perfect, actually. Um, you know, things just generally, this is absolutely beautiful. My phone just rang. I mean, you know, we have tilted landing gear here, too, and good wing flex. Literally, they put a lot of work in the exterior modeling. Just that this is really something I would expect from a $30 add-on. Like, okay, actually, this is... Almost even beyond the expectations. I mean, look at this. Tilted landing gear. I'm really, really satisfied with the exterior models. No worries about that. The livery that's included in this plane is a little ugly. It's probably the Captain Sim livery. But that's sort of the story. The plane itself is extremely beautiful. Really, really have to praise that. But we start to face a few interesting things once we actually enter the cockpit of this plane. Welcome aboard the 777 cockpit. Uh, you may see this is, you know, this is a normal big uh, Boeing plane cockpit, as in the 747 looks very similar. We'll come to that 747 later on, by the way. Now, actually, of course, as you would expect, first of all, most of these switches... Um don't work. I mean, no, really. The majority of switches that we would use for day-to-day -day flying on this plane actually does work. The windshield wipers, the electrical systems, and uh, some of the fuel system and the bleed air systems indeed too, but there's just a lot of things that don't work either. But actually, uh, other than the <clears throat> functionality of this cockpit, which again is a little limited, it is very, very much beautiful, right? I mean, really, again, they have done the modeling here quite nice, just like they did on the exterior. This plane looks nice enough also from the inside. By the way, let's go ahead and try to land here at Gibraltar Airport. We're coming in quite interesting here for this landing. You know, it's important to obviously also try landing some planes here too, see how they fly. And, um, well, I cannot really judge. I have never flown a 777. By the way, what was that landing? Holy moly. Let's go ahead and stop now. And, uh, well, if we take a look at the instrument screen, we can see that, uh, the reverse thrust is up. All right. By the way, we've stopped by now. This has worked out quite well. Oh, damn. I like the runway performance of this plane. But, uh, hmm, okay. I'm trying to really put this in a way that it doesn't sound ridiculous. Well, you may notice that um, this screen, especially in, in general, all these instruments here on this, um, you know, on this dashboard, look very, very much similar to the one that we have on the 747-8 that's included in the flight simulator already. And this is, by the way, what I was talking about with the 747. Um, all they did basically was took all the instruments from the 747 and put them in the 777 here, the add-on people. You know, the, the free 747 that's included in the flight simulator. And, uh, well, um, you can really tell when to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the normal cockpit from the 747. Yep, really. This is the, the same display. And actually, <laughs> what is really funny is that, you know, they have actually 
just, you know, removed two of the engines that the 747, obviously the 747 has four engines, and they just removed two to make up for the two engines that the 777 has, but there are still like these numbers left. You know, normally there would be like two more of these uh, slider bars, you know what I mean? Here, yeah, they just uh, kind of <laughs> erased them, but the, these numbers are still left. In fact, something I found really weird was when I played around in the actual MCDU. Um, <laughs> And if you go to actually ident, it mostly says the model and it says 747-8 on here. And I was like, oh no, please don't have done what I think you did. All right. So, you know, it turns out, okay, let me just put this really short. They basically made a skin for the 747 that's already out for the flight simulator. Does that make sense? I think all the systems are basically, the, the cockpit here is a 747 with a 777 skin. That's what I would take out of all of this. I mean, we do have to say the plane works. It turns on. I tried, it, actually yesterday, a whole flight. I mean, APU works. APU starts. It, it does work. But all that is basically... Basically, after all, it's just a 747 again with a triple seven skin, um, and you can really tell that. Which is like, uh, I mean, this is a thirty dollar add-on. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know. I cannot really figure this out easily, but I think they also just took over the physics of the 747, didn't they? Because that would actually make it like genuinely a bad one, right? I, I honestly, I, I, I kind of do suspect that they just really took the physics that the 747 already has implemented again and just, you know, skinned over the 777. I don't want to believe that. And honestly, again, this is all kind of just speculation. I cannot say for a fact that they did that, but I mean, look, look, I mean, come on. You know, I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm a little mixed on this whole opinion. I mean, this is a very beautiful plane and it works. That's the thing. But uh, it's kind of the 747. You know what? Let's just get rid of all these bad thoughts and try to land this plane somewhere. In fact, we're approaching Catalina Island right now with a thousand meter long runway. Let's see how this is going to work. All right, now landing. Coming up. Oh, wow. This plane. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see if they're going to stop. Oh, 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 well, okay. That's, uh... That's worked. Good. Holy moly. Yeah, really, you shouldn't be underestimating the size of this plane. This plane really isn't small. I mean, these engines are literally the most powerful engines that there are on this planet. I mean, you know, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's actually been an on-point landing, by the way. Good. I really am a fan of the toted landing gear, the design that the 777 actually has. Good. All right, all right. I mean, uh, this was basically the, also the longest runway that this plane could ever operate at. We really just found it here by landing at Santa Catalina Island. Oh, well. I mean, this is still... I, I'm not quite sure this is quite a tough one. I mean, there's so many things that this plane just cannot do or doesn't have like doors that you can open or pretty much anything really <laughs> i mean just when you start at the plane you don't have to align the gps it's absolutely unrealistic when it comes to that but i mean uh, at the end it, it could also be used as a there's a fun plane i mean uh, this is hard i mean something i really i mean i haven't talked about this yet something that's really really nice is actually the cabin let's go to the cabin there we go this is what the cabin looks like and it is absolutely superb uh it's very well you know designed and uh that's pretty much what we can say about this plane as a whole plane very very nicely designed uh very much custom designed too nothing stolen here apparently again i'm just a big fan of the land i mean look at the landing gear it is absolutely stunning but the flying part the technical part the cockpit part it's gonna uh, it's not good uh, which is a, a little bit of a problem i think this is not a professional plane at all but uh it flies and it looks good so i mean you know what i think is the main problem of this plane really is the price 30 dollars i mean i've paid a lot less for better models <laughs> yeah let me just say that i think this plane i wouldn't be surprised if it was like 10 bucks okay does that make sense again for a skin i think 10 bucks is quite appropriate. I mean, by the way, something that's also, by the way, I've never, I've never, I actually, I haven't talked about this yet either. The sound design is also stolen from the 747. I mean, if you compare the 747 to the 777 sounds here, they are the same. So, uh, that's something I actually noticed right straight out of the bat when I was starting the engines. I was like, damn, this plane sounds like the 747. Because it is, basically. Would I recommend this plane to you for purchase? Well, only if, um... You don't care about spending $30 for something that isn't really realistic, okay? But for those who want to be a little bit serious, you have to wait for the PMDG 
Triple Seven that'll come out in 10 years. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. <laughs> of course, as always, good night. Thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Old Man the Human, DJ Straw, Deload, Tyler Park, In from Osk, Garkum, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No You, Larry Deslama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Terrier, uh, uh, Science, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bliviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.